All right, it's Antline Alpha. And we're gonna go to the third level. It's the next thing to do. There's some groins up on the castle, up on the second story, or whatever this is. This little surround a roof that we have going on. Okay. So you'll find the third level just around in this hedge. By the way, there's a rabbit in that little vine cage up there. We can't get him yet. You'll see when we can get him. Piranha plant plond, pl pond. Climb the ruins. Yeah, this level is uh, a little too easy for my taste. But it has a, a nice atmosphere. Someone in the comments said that it's their favorite level. Uh, I wouldn't mark this in probably even my top five favorite levels, but what about just the steps? Are, there's a lot of spots in this game where they have those type of steps that are buried in the ground, and they're like so hard to climb just because you get on the next one and you start slipping, even though you're still like halfway on the step, but you end up like on the land too. Okay, so this is not the end of the ruins. The end of the ruins is coming up next, and here it is, the end. So a simple one for us. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, I'll go back in there in just a sec. That is... The music in here is the Forest Maze music from uh, Super Mario RPG, which I've never actually played. Mostly because I didn't find out that it even existed until, like, a year ago. And I watched, like, I've watched, like, uh two Let's Plays of it, so I know a lot about it. And I've heard, I actually have a remix of the the Forest Maze. It's a hip-hop remix on my iPod. It sounds really cool. It's by uh, Fruity Loops, I think. So if you get a chance to listen to that, you should. It's really good sounding. It's all bip boppity burganka. You know, those notes, those beats, you hear them going like that. But the music started to get, like, losing its feel after a while, because I spent, like, an hour in here looking for the the eighth red coin, and there I go saying eighth again, like my eighth Let's Play. So, we're gonna get the groins now. And I bet my nose, or not my nose, but my voice sounds weird, because over the, like, I already told you that uh, my nose was getting, like, stuffed up in my recording, and... Like, over yesterday, I realized that I actually do have a cold now. <sighs> I just hate it so much. I get colds often. I hadn't had one for, like, seven months, and then I just... Not, I don't think seven. That's a bit a big stretch. I think it's more like... Uh, five, maybe, but... Yeah, I get colds a lot, probably because I don't eat the recommended... Nutrition. Yeah, I don't. I don't just go around eating nutrition here and there to get uh, avoiding colds. Uh, this pipe just takes you to uh, another part of the level. It's not really any use unless I don't know you're speed running. And I, I just like really like the the way these hedges were done because they look like exactly like you'd expect them to be done in any other Nintendo 64 game that contains hedges, so those hedge, hedge containing games all look alike. The games don't, but the hedges do. S different game, same hedge. That's going in my motto list. Where did these go? Okay, just around here. Uh, no, don't slide. You're gonna waste time. Oh, I still got it. Cool. Yeah, there's... There's no levels er, in this game that uh, have exactly 100 groins, like in Super Mario 74. Oh, you took a nibble out of me while I was sliding gently towards you. Will I get a guess I better slide a little bit tougher? There you go. Too toughly for you? Oh, yeah, I did you. I think I already killed some of those. Yeah, uh, he gave the fly guys the... Goomba animation and uh, behavior for for that. So yeah, you can. They're like little walking, like regular shy guys. 
because there there weren't any shy guys in uh, the original game. They just called them fly guys because they all flew around. Some of them just were rammers and they rammed into you, and others were burners and they were probably the most hated enemy in the game. That's what I got from it. Yeah, these trees are pretty cool. Uh, they have hollow leaves. Well, not hollow, but like the... They're not supposed to be hollow. It's like a weird word for it, but like you can go through them. And let's see if we can see what the tree... Yeah, see the tree just is a little spike. So you can't like glitch into the tree, because it has a tip. You can't glitch in tips. Alright, let's get this out of the way while we can. Open the doors. Thanks. Alright. There's only one thing you need to do with the cannon. And you need to have precise aiming. And you can actually... He does this in a lot of his levels where you can, like, get up on the border. Where there's, like, yeah, there's invisible walls. There's nothing really you can do in here. Nothing that'll benefit you. Oh, but I did find this out when I was searching forever for that red coin. There's a... You see that... The shadow right here? Right on that little root? Or root? Yeah, it's a one-up. Let's just... Yep, you just need to do a double jump and kick, or you could triple jump into it, maybe do a side flip. Whatever, do! Okay, how many red coins do I even have? I don't think I've been really planning this out. I've just been grabbing yellows. And uh, I think the yellows are getting old. We need to get some reds. No more old yellows. And he really does like using those uh, Goomba, Shy Guys things. But in the later levels, he kind of it kind of dies down. There's no more. <laughs> uh, I hate the sound of my voice right now because I'm cold. But I just want to record. Oh, this will help us. Yeah, there, there's that block there, and these. There's this block and uh, those two fire spewers, but you never use them for anything. Because you can easily get to that star over there without using them, and I don't even know, because you can't push it that far, so I don't know how it would be of any use to you anyway, so it's just weird. Okay, there's one in the water. If you have water, you just have no choice but to put a groin in it. You are physically required by law. The law gets all physical on you and it's like, ugh, ugh, yeah, you, you accept, you follow the rules. You follow this law. You don't want to get a ticket. I don't think I'm going up that way. I don't think you get tickets for anything other than driving. Well, I mean, like, law, bad tickets. But of course, you get lottery tickets and stuff. That was seven, so one more. Oh, I had to appear on the slope, so I'd slide down and be like, No! I'm sloping down from my star! The thing I wanted most of all. I think you can, actually, like, if you're going along the border, you can, like, end up sliding down and jumping to that star there, but... Uh, we actually want to use the metal cap and... Okay, good, I thought it was... The metal cap was solid, it looked like it was solid from here. I was wondering if I was playing on my completed file, and that would have been embarrassing, but no, it couldn't have happened because the stars are yellow. They would have been blue if we were playing on the wrong one. Okay, sorry about the... Sorry about the cut right there. I'm sorry for moving my mic, but, uh, yeah, so the last, uh, red groin is under the bridge, because apparently people are supposed to expect that it's a troll or something that likes to lurk under the bridge. I mean, I can understand people expecting it to be some kind of goblin. I mean, I, the goblins live in the woods, right? This is all, like, woodsy. Woodsy ruins. But trolls? I mean, who's to know? Who's to know a red groin is a troll? Ah, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, the reason that cut happened because Camtasia went all dickish and, uh had an error, couldn't retrieve the video after I, I saved it, so I have to redo the second half, since I did the video in two segments, and I just hate not knowing why something like that happens. Oh crap, I never, 
Uh, open the cannon again. I need to do that again. I just mean, like, technology like this, just software in general, just scares me because of how unreliable it can be. I mean, someday, like, you... You put all your trust in it that, like, nothing will go wrong, and, like, sometimes nothing does go wrong, and then every once in a while you get this stupid incident that makes you break the trust, and I mean, it's weird that I'm using the word trust for, like, a inhuman thing like that, but still, uh, okay, so, yeah, that's what you had to do, uh, I didn't explain that, yeah, the, the best way to get that, to aim the cannon right, is to get the top, the star that's on top of the, the church thing, I don't know what it is, the tower, uh, is to make it so you can, you can only see the the top star and you can't see the bottom star, so it, the top star would be at the bottom of the cannon circle that, where you can, like, see everything, and then, uh, and then shoot. Uh, so, yeah, the star will be slightly to the right, I think, since the the arrow... Oh, that was a cool way to kill the Goomba, since the, the platforms are on the left. Okay, so the owl is right here. This is the sixth star. You can't do the seventh star because... Uh, or the fifth star because you need the metal cap, and yeah, you have to do a handstand to get the owl to actually come out. And that screwed me over because I was, uh, I, I literally searched like every tree in this in this level twice, and didn't get any luck. So I I don't know what I was doing wrong. And then I started doing a handstand and finally got it. So I guess we're supposed to put all our trust in this owl. I guess we're supposed to trust his talons by hanging on to his talons. Well, how strong are his talons? How are we supposed to know? How are we supposed to trust this guy? Does he just work out with his talons? Does he have a bow flex specially designed for talons? Or does he just use the oh, uh, uh, the talon trot in general? Okay. Yeah, that happened to me the first time but when I did this recording the first time, but I actually slid off the tower and had to go back and wait for the owl for like two minutes. Okay. Well, we did that in a reasonable amount of time. Maybe, just maybe, we can do... Uh, the first star in the secret level. Because I do believe... We... The race should only take... It's a race, but with Koopa... Poopa the dick. So we can do that in... About... 50 seconds? I don't know. Unless I screw it up the first time, then we'll just be getting a preview of it. And you recognize this music? It's... Wind Waker! Wake up, people! The wind is calling. That's right, it's Wind Waker on Super Mario 64 Star Road. Okay. Let's see how good I am doing this. I haven't done this in a few days. I mean, I just completed this hack like two days ago, so... Oh, the fly guy wasn't there? That was weird. Normally there's a fly guy in that gap. And this bridge, I wonder about it because it's. it looks like it's just the regular bridge from Bob and Battlefield in the original, but textured differently, but maybe it could be a little bit wider, could be a little bit longer, I just don't know, and, uh, because that, that would require hexagon, I don't think, I don't know why you do that if, I mean, because you've clearly seen that he can texture other things, so, it's just weird, because some of the platforms and hex editing do look similar to, uh, things in the original game, but they're different, and, uh, I was actually really competent at that. Surprised. Should probably get rid of this fuck ya so he doesn't fuck us up. Okay. Well, at least I made more progress than in the last segment, so... You don't have to worry about because the last segment was also six minutes long, the recording, and this is at 5.55 right now, so as soon as the... Uh, wow, how good did I beat him? Wait. He didn't get stuck, did he? Sometimes they can get stuck. I'm gonna start going down. I don't think he should be taking this long. Oh, you turd! Oh. Bing bang goodbye. <laughs>